Tool.room.com. This is a look at the Maxpedition Rift Blade. It's a 30 liter CCW inspired backpack. Kind of go over it pretty quick. Um, you see at the bottom, it's still in frame. At the bottom, we have uh, an REI camp pad, inflatable camp pad that fits right in there with the straps. You can cinch it down. You can also put a back or a, a coat in there. If you can put a sleeping bag in there, it's going to be a tight sleeping bag because those straps don't snap off like the other snaps or the other straps do. So let's take a quick look. We got the main compartment, admin compartment, key retainer, um, on this fray resistant admin pouch with a different colored zipper. Um, Maxpedition says that's it's not supposed to fray, and it's also so you can. Uh, find out where the zipper is easier, but I've never really had that problem with the backpack. On the top, I usually put my Wild Hedgehog med kit in there, but it's it's padded, so you could probably put your sunglasses in there, maybe. Main compartment. And it is a it's a softer Velcro backing, so you could put uh, pouches and accessories in there. And then on the main compartment, see on the main compartment, you have the hydration bladder spot um, on this side and uh, in the front side right there you have another full-length pouch it's dual zippers it's accessible from either side and again it's the anti-fray material that they produce and then there's a small compartment up here which is good for multi-tools whatever you've got to put up there I mean it's a nice small pouch so the other thing with this particular bag since it is a concealed carry inspired bag this is the CCW pouch itself located here And you can see right there, Glock 19, and in and out of the pouch. The Velcro pouch just goes in there. Like I mentioned in the article, the side straps on both sides are a nice feature. You can really cinch it down well. Again, I'm a solo cameraman, so sorry about the movement. It's got a yoke style where it kind of comes in in the middle for the straps with the sternum belt. I really found this to be a nice feature. They're not super thick, but they're uh, they're padded enough, and they've got adjustments on the top. So if you need the pack to ride a little higher, a little lower, removable waistband or uh, waist belt. Again, with snaps. Um, it's a really great backpack. There are things they did really well with it, and there's some things that uh, I personally think they missed the mark on, and one of them being the, um, sorry, there we go, one of them being the molly webbing on the front. I could do without that. Um, other brands on the market don't have the webbing on the front, so it's more of a discreet um, type of off-body CCW and this with the comes in black gray or tan all of your tactical defense contractor colors um, whereas other brands come in some blacks a traditional color but 
with, with the webbing, it doesn't stand out as bad in black, but in gray or coyote or tan, whatever they're calling it, it, it stands out a little bit. So it does what it does very well. It gives you more than 1,800 cubic inches of storage, two main compartments, big enough that I can put a kel Sub-2000 in and a couple mags. Um, I've used it a lot the last month, and I'm going to continue to use it. I like it, but just know that... Um, there are limitations to it, but like everything in life, you you buy the gear that you can afford, you buy the gear that you want, and you make it work. So overall, really nice pack. I thank Maxpedition for sending it to us. Um, I think this product line, the um, they make three of them. They make uh, two, I think one's 15, the other's a 23 liter, and then the 30 liter. And I think that off-body CCW line from them is going to continue to expand. That's a market that... Uh, really has come on strong the last 24 to 30 months and I think it's going to continue to evolve. So this has been Rick with loadoutroom.com and this is the Maxpedition Rift Blade.